Yo, what is up guys? Today it is Oguapa coming at you with another video. Today I'm doing another drawing tutorial with you guys. I haven't done it for a while. So you may have noticed I updated my wall. We have Luke, Baby Yoda, Chewbacca, Bosk. Uh, that's my little brother's drawing. And then we have Spider-Man with Symbiote, Hogwarts, Neville. And then behind all of my drawings is Harry Potter. So... Back to the point. So, I've been looking all over YouTube, all over, but I could not find a single decent Darth Maul drawing tutorial. So, today I'm going to be helping you guys out, and I know most of you people aren't Darth Maul fans, but for those who are like me, I'm such a big fan, by the way, that I have a Darth Maul lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge, and I just love him. So, and since I couldn't find a decent one, why not make one? Just for you guys, so let's get into it. All right, all right then. So, like I said before, I'm just going to do a simple Darth Maul drawing tutorial because I couldn't find a single decent one all over YouTube, and I just want to give you guys all those Darth Man, all those Darth Maul fans out there. I just want to give you an opportunity if you are looking for a drawing tutorial, this is where you will be able to find it. Subscribe so you'll never miss out on another drawing tutorial or video and, and all. So, all right. So first, I will always do a guideline for the head. So you can do it however you want, including doing circles and then going from there. Or you could just go around as an oval shape so you know where the head is going to be, like that. And then just going to shape it a bit better. Now, Darth Maul has a series of tattoos, which is going to be probably the hardest thing in this tutorial. But yeah, it's still going to be fairly easy for you guys. So, yes, and then he has like a... I'm giving him, like, so, if you didn't know this, but Darth Maul's, like, five feet tall, so, he, like, doesn't, he's not buff either, but he just has normal shoulders, normal shoulders, and then they go down, he has, like, a, his black cloak on, thingy, and then, yep. You guys can just end it off right there. If you want me to do a full body tutorial, put it in the comment section down below. And I will do that. So, you can't see his neck because, so his robes, like, come down there. And then it just is shadowed from there on out. So, you can just do a little form of shadowing under there because there's nothing there <laughs> and then his chin is pretty defined it's pretty hard so it's curved a little do the same thing on the other side and then it goes up for the top of the head and yeah you just give it the shape and then he has kind of a pointy head since he's a knight brother and alien. If you're a Star Wars fan, you will know. Um, okay, so now I think we can like do a guideline for the hood. It like doesn't go over his head like he's just taken it off. So it's like just a big lump of fabric behind his neck. So yeah. And then we can do a little guideline for his facial features, I guess. But first, we can do some wrinkles and then go over them later on. But I got to keep this easy for you guys. So I'm not going to make it too hard of wrinkles. Just draw a bunch of crazy random lines in the fa fabric. And then guidelines for the eyes. They're about there. They come just ovals. Like, eyes are just ovals. Now, people may think they're like, like that. They have a fit, they have a shape of that, but it's 
more curved. It's it's not like that. So we're now going into. I need to push the eyes closer together and make them a bit smaller because he's like not happy. So his eyes are. Well, he's not mad, but it's just serious. So yes. I think they're kind of uneven. Yeah, so they're uneven. So I'm gonna fix this one. Whoops, sorry. So that is like that. Now you can always use an eye guideline like that. Just so you know, like the nose starts here. It's just a good guideline for basically everything. And his nose is pretty curved. It's just like that. And then you can draw a line right here for the bottom of it. And then his nostrils come out. You don't have to draw all of this. You don't have to draw the entire nose. That's the benefit of like using cheat codes as an artist. So, and then you can just draw a line there because it's like a guideline for a tattoo, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it does that. And then, this guideline. I think the nose is crooked. The nose is crooked. Yeah, it went out. The line should be here. The nostril should be here. Like that. And then the guideline for the nose. Like that. Okay, so now that we have the nose, the guideline for the eyes, now we can go on to the mouth. I kind of messed up the chin a little. Looks like he's out of perspective, but he shouldn't be. I should have done the guidelines at the beginning so I know everything's lined up. So I gotta fix it once again. Mm hmm. Hopefully this should do it for the third try. This is a little slanted, but there we go. Yes, and then you can't see anything from here, so it's because it's just all black tattooed, like so you can just shade that in. It's just a beginning tattoo. Um, and then he has like those Sith eyes. So he has normal sized pupils. But inside he has like the crazy eyeballs. <laughs> then he can just scribble inside of there and it'll look like pupils. And then we can shape the eyes a bit more. Just give him its shape. I think this one's a bit small. There we go. I need the line again. And then his horns, we can just do a guy line for that. They like come up. Let's do the same thing on the other side. It's like a crown, but coming out of his head. And then he has one in the middle. You can do a weird shape, however you want. And then there's one on the side. Two on the side, whoops, sorry. So it goes like that. And then there's like this bit of, there's like these circles are really sharp ovals like that are surrounding the horns. And it's another tattoo. And then these are like the main, this is the main base of the tattoos. So you can just shade it in because it's, all his tattoos are black. It's like ancient symbols, I don't know what they are. But, yeah. And then just make them look horny, I guess. Like that. Just add some design in them. All over them. Yeah, and it'll make them look like horns. Now, shade in the rest. And now from there, there's a line, and then these 
there's another line there that connect up to the center line from the other tattoos. And then that's basically the tattoos on his the top of his head. And then from the bottom, though, there's... I need to shade this in a little bit better because it's kind of trash shaded. And then from here, it comes out, goes up. Let's do, the, let's do it over here before we do it anymore. Out, up, and then down into the nose. So it's pretty simple. I mean, kinda. The tattoos are probably the most complex part. And then around the eyes, there's like eyebrow tattoos. Kinda weird, but they go around like that, and then just go into the nose. So, now that we have that, um, shade them in, the usual. Yep, and then you can thicken these since they're already, all, since they're already not, since they're already really thin, so you can't really shade them in, just double up on them, make them really close to make it look like you can, you've been shading in those and then out from the eyes that I need to shade better there is actually I'm gonna do the design on the nose there's just diamonds on it just do two diamonds and he has like a mustache tattoo under his nose like like that on his lips no oh, we need to do the lips like Basically, just the underline of the triangle tattoos are the lips, so. And then from there, it goes around and then out. And then in here, there's a triangle. A lot of triangles on his chin. And we can define that tattoo line a bit better. And then this actually connects, this triangle part actually connects out no goes like that there we go and then out from here it goes into there that way and then this part goes up and doesn't connect to anything but it gets close to the nose so same thing over here it's basically all just symmetrical and then up here he has little lines. And then out here, you have his ears. Like that. And then the the ears have like a weird thing around them. Because like it's getting kind of plain on the sides of his head. So we have that. And then those are his tattoos. Now we need to do the fabric. It's just a shading under every little wrinkle line you did before. So just go under that with some lines and it'll look like it's a wrinkle effect. And it's pretty pretty cool how you can do that effect and it's just a hack for wrinkles. So just go under all of your little lines and boom, wrinkles. So just, you can shade it in however you want. Do a little bit of cross hatching here and there. I do not care. It's your drawing from here. And yeah, that's that's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, Darth Maul. And yes, that's that's it. So I will see you guys next time on the El Guapo Entertainment channel. Subscribe to me down below. And this is... Easy Darth Maul drawing tutorial. I hope you liked it. Oh, I forgot to go on this here. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.